Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and look how lucky that I am. Look at where I'm standing. Is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? And today I'm going to talk a little bit about that water that you see behind me. That's called the Yellowstone River. And what a spectacular river that is. And if you've ever been on the Yellowstone, you know how beautiful it really is. Yellowstone River actually starts just outside of Yellowstone Park up in the mountains called the Absorca Mountains. And what happens is it flows down the mountains and goes into Yellowstone Lake, which is this just huge lake in Yellowstone Park. In fact, it is the largest high elevation lake in the world, which means it's 7,000 feet or higher. It flows into that lake, it's about 400 feet deep, then it flows out of that lake, down Yellowstone Falls, and then meanders throughout Montana, and then it's what we call a tributary, which means it's not really a major river, it flows into a major river, which it happens to flow into the Missouri River on the North Dakota-Montana border. But the neat thing about the Yellowstone River is that it is the longest undammed river in the world, which means you're not going to see any kind of dams across this, any kind of uh, um, fixing of the river. You're not going to see any changes in the river by man. It's the same as it was millions of years ago when it started floating. It's about 692 miles long. It's a pretty nice sized river. But the, my favorite thing is, is that when you walk this river, or you float this river, you see history. History. You look at these rock walls that we have here, and a lot of times when you're going down the river, you can see dinosaur bones sticking out of the rock walls. You can see petroglyphs, which are actually drawings made by ancient peoples thousands of years ago. It's just spectacular, and the coolest thing is the wildlife. No matter what part of the river you're on, whether it's right downtown in Billings or it's way out here in the middle of nowhere, you're going to see wildlife from birds to mammals to Paddlefish, one of my favorite all time fish found in this river. Super long nose, real ancient fish, awesome stuff. Yellowstone River is just an incredible river, and we're lucky to have it right here in Montana. It's, it's just as you would have saw it thousands of years ago. That is cool stuff. So until next time, I want you to come out here, check out the Yellowstone, because it is history right in front of your eyes. I am Jeff the Nature Guy. I'll see you real soon out at the zoo.